Hello everyone and welcome back to my playthrough of Alan Wake 2. Last time we basically just cleared out the Bright Falls area of cult stashes and the nursery rhymes. Um, and we are pretty much ready to go directly to the sheriff's station and give the clicker to Alan Wake and see what happens from there. That was dramatic. Power's out. Always a good sign. Oh, oh boy. Oh, jeez. I'm Anyone cro oh, here? God. I'm here in the closet. Oh, Estevez. Agent Estevez? Is that you? Anderson? Did I tell you to fuck off? Looks like it's a good thing I didn't. Looks like. My leg's busted, so I'm gonna need your help. Listen, there is a person out there with you invaded by something that we call the Shadow, and if you a don't- taken. Yeah, I'll handle it. That's it, oh gee, oh fuck. So do we finally get to meet Mr. Scratch? Is that is that what this is? Logan Brown? Are you still up? Seriously? These guys are fucking bullet sponges, man. I swear. All clear, Estevez. Of course, it's locked. That leg doesn't look good. <sighs> Feels even worse. But thanks for saving the rest of me. We should talk. Okay. Um, all right, we can explore afterwards. Let's talk to her first. So what happened here? What happened here? <laughs> Where to fucking start? Uh, we came to check out a system alert at Cauldron Lake, but it's worse than we could handle. Real boondoggle. The police, my own agents, most were invaded before we could even react. So what's the FBC doing here? What did the FBC come here to do? Bright Falls is the site of a recurring altered world event. The shadow is stronger than we expected. We're low on resources, problems at HQ. But we do have equipment for dealing with the shaded threat. We were just caught off guard before we could set it up. Have you seen my partner? Have you found my partner, Agent Casey? Yeah, we found him out in the woods. He had a close encounter with the shadow. And oh it no! Did something to him. Is he okay? He's alive. We took him down to the morgue for an examination. Haven't heard anything since the attack. You took him down to the morgue, but he's alive. I'm looking for Where Wake. is Wake? I know what's going on here. Wake can fix this. Alan Wake is a para-utilitarian. The word's a mouthful, so you know it's serious. We have him locked up in the holding cells per protocol. He's connected to the shadow in some way. So I need to get the cells open, and we can't because the power is out. Estevez, I need to see Wake. How do I get into the cell block? Okay. <laughs> Protocols don't mean that much at this point anyway. Don't make me regret this, Anderson. Until the power's back on, the door to the holding cells won't open. There's a fuse box downstairs in the basement. Here. You'll need these keys.
You know, at this Back point... Back into the morgue, huh? Fantastic. At this point, it probably wouldn't be a bad idea to tell us as that we're a para-utilitarian, too. Because we have the mind place, a shared space between the Anderson family, and we can go into the minds of people. Like, we're definitely a fucking para-utilitarian. Can hear whispers and shit. Alright, so let's go do a little bit of um, connecting the dots here. Okay, wake in the clicker. The, sec the station has been attacked. So what happened here? The cult? Taken? Wake is a priority. This isn't good. Wake better be alive. So wake, wake status. Estevez so Estevez says, the FBC locked Wake in the holding cells. They believe he's associated with the Dark Presence somehow. Okay, okay. Wake is trapped in a cell lo uh, block below. Well, they're not wrong. Estevez, fuse box is in the basement of the station. Fuse box is in the basement. Let's hope there's a fuse nearby. We won't be able to open the cell block doors until the power is back on. The cell door won't open without power. So need to power the disengage. Need power to disengage the locks. Fuse box in the basement. And story, we still can't do anything. Um, so we have eleven. There's nothing we can do with eleven. It's funny that uh, there's different verbiage that they use for. You know, the Taken, the Shadows. Um, yeah, I can't Holding cells. Oh. Is that where they're keeping Wake? Door is locked, though. Might as well. Hopefully Wake's safe in there. Need to get the door open. Anderson. I read you. Have you had our frequency this entire time? Eavesdropping is a big part of the job. But no, I got it from your partner. Anderson, look for a fuse to replace the blown out one in the fuse box. That should get the power going again. Yeah. On it. Yeah, these guys are FPC. Uh, this is where the bolt cutters come in. I will happily take these bullets. There's another cult stash. Inside the police station? So is that... So over... So one over one... Is one. I guess it's one... I don't know what that is. Four and six? Last one, I think it has to do with the sides. One, four, six. Okay. Beware the cult of the tree. I surely will. So, yeah, yeah. Is this, what is this? A rocket flare? Single shot flare. Inflicts heavy damage and a large area on impact. Okay, cool. Won't say no. 
Uh, I thought there was going to be a fuse in here. Clearly, I was wrong. So I guess this is the save area once the power comes back on. Uh, I can put this charm away because I shan't use it. And I guess I can move you up here. I mean, I would attempt to organize my inventory, but there's no point. I'm just going to use it at everything up, and then it's just going to be a mess again once I start picking up stuff. There's Casey. Sure, giving me a lot of items. Um, yeah, I'm gonna use that. Yeah. Actually, you know what? Since I just opened up a bunch of space. Uh, shit, wrong, wrong room. Might as well. Yeah. All right, here we go. Stay the fuck. Casey, is that you? Anderson? Hold your fire. I'm coming in. I'll, I'll, I'll come in in a minute. Just looking around. Poor stuff. back there. Hey, Anderson. Like what I've done with the place? Hmm. Could use a bit more glide. <sighs> Funny. How are you holding up? Ah, don't give me that worried look, Anderson. It's just a, it's a flesh wound. <laughs> Gave me a chance to have a, a nice chat about ex-wives with uh, Kieran. Uh, Agent Estevez, I mean. Making new friends, huh? I'm jealous. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm fine. What's the situation on your end? Where's your wound? Uh, what, what happened, happened at the hotel? Wake was telling the truth about the cult being after him. The thing, the dark presence. It's real, too. I saw it. A fucked up monster cloud. Wake tried to warn me. It knocked me out. FBC found me in the woods later. I have a lot to tell you. Watery turned out to be a good lead. Found the clicker and the cult. But the horror story is changing reality. Like Wake said it would. Logan, she's, uh... The story claims she died here. But we can stop it. Wait, Saga. What are you, um... Logan is gone. She has been. For a long time. Casey's affected by the horror story, too. I'm fighting for them all now. Okay, before I finish that off, let's profile him real quick in case it opens up another dialogue tree. I can tell something is wrong. 
What's happening to Casey? I'm a goner. Swell. A shadow crawling under my skin. Oh, he's in tainted. My head. Call my ex. Tell her I'm sorry. Terminal case, Casey. Something is wrong with him. He's hurt worse than he says. He's scared. No, I didn't do anything. I'm gonna fix this, Casey. You, Logan, all of it. I just need to get the power back on first. Yeah, give him hell, Anderson. Just remember, some things in life can't be fixed with a light switch. As for the power problem, here. I found a fuse on those poor bastards there. I'll take care of it. Stay put, Casey. I'll let you know when it's safe. I'm not going anywhere. <clears throat> Fifty bucks says, "I go to put the fuse in." Oh, the fuse is over here. I was, I, I was gonna say like, uh, fifty bucks says I was gonna go in another room. Um, put the fuse in, come back, and he's gone. Anderson, good news, bad news. You can get to the cell block now, but the shaded hostels that were in there are on the loose. Thanks for the heads up. Okay, gonna be good. I love the shotgun. I don't know how this packs more of a punch than a rifle, but I mean, I, I I know that it would, but I would think even a rifle at long range would do a lot more damage. Um, I need more batteries, please. Any batteries, did I? No. Okay. Um, we'll have to use a rocket flare. Where are you? Oh, hi. <gasps> Situation is under control, Estevez. Coming back up. Copy. <laughs> Copy. All right, Mr. Casey. I'll wait here. For what? Whatever, man. Whatever. Anderson, over here. Can't go in that room anymore. Behind yes. the counter. I I know. Got a little cramped in that closet. What's going on? We had a hell of a time avoiding those taken. Ended up back here. Anyway, I wanted to warn you that we have the Coscula brothers in the cells as well. They're the ringleaders of the cult of the tree. Don't let your guard down. Is the FBC sending any help? <sighs> we were the help. Well, us in the lake house. But we still have bureau gear specifically engineered to fight this threat. It's stored in the back lot. We were setting it up when the Taken interrupted us. We have light arrays, a containment cell, etc., etc. We are not out of this fight yet. 
can I can I have some? What's at the lake house? It's a bureau research facility at Cauldron Lake set up to study the effects of this AWE. When I got into town, I went there for backup. The whole station is lost, taken by the shadow. Lost a lot of agents. Barely got out myself. Wish me luck. According to the luck and probability department, it's statistically bad luck to wish people good luck during a crisis. Thanks. That's actually pretty funny. Um, you wouldn't happen to have some extra batteries, would you? Okay. Hmm. Saga. Fucking FBI, FBC, you government fucks all fucking this up for us. Let us the fuck out! You're the leaders of the cult. You're not going anywhere. Wake will ruin everything. Get rid of him, Saga. You fucking shot me. Typical government stooge. Let me out so I can kill him. That fucker! You come to our town and act like you know what you're dealing with, but you have no fucking idea! Let us out! You can't stop it. None of you can. We can take care of this. We've been preparing for this. Let's see what this says. Agent Young held his clipboard up to the light. The equipment was all accounted for. He ticked the boxes, satisfied. A noise on the other side of the back lot made him pause. He peered into the darkness. Nothing. Shrugging, he signed and dated the form. Estevez wanted everything ready, just in case. Young appreciated a cautious leader. Estevez had held it together even after the oldest house had gone dark. Young began to head inside. The local sheriff's station was a tight fit, but at least they had a coffee machine. Young felt optimistic. They even had the para-utilitarian in custody already. Another clatter behind him. Closer this time, he turned hand on his holster. He called out to the darkness. This station has been seized by the Federal Bureau of Control. You're not authorized to be here. Suddenly, the lights flickered, went off. Young couldn't see a thing. Then from inside the station, the screams began. Yeah, we still haven't uh, actually had any indication of Scratch, of Mr. Scratch. I don't have the key. Hi, Alan. Saga. Hey, buddy. Do you have it? You wrote Logan into the story. You told me yourself from the dark place. Listen, Scratch is coming. He's, he's close. He's almost here. He's... My daughter is dead because of you. She's a child. What the fuck is wrong with you? I'm trying to fix this. I will fix this. I'll save everyone, but we're running out of time. I need the clicker. You're not Scratch. Is he Scratch? I'm wondering if he's Scratch. And we're being played right now. Because here's the thing. The only thing I could think of of why Logan will be written in this story is because Scratch did it. You know, if 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 Alan put Saga into the story, the only way to really control Saga's actions is to basically put her loved ones in peril. 
And that's definitely something Scratch would do, right? Because he's Evil Allen. Let's see. Let's see. I have the clicker. You will fix this. You will save my daughter. Promise me. Yes, I promise. But we're out of time. Hurry! Don't fucking give it to him! Get him, get him! He's a fucking monster, Saga! There it is. We've been waiting for you, motherfucker. I'm gonna fucking destroy you! I was right. Shit, shit, shit. Are we Fuck. scratch? He was pretending to be wake. Yes, I knew it. Plan is fucked. Estevez, come in. Scratch is here. How do I stop him? Bad news. The containment unit isn't prepped. The light array should affect him. Okay, lights. Oh, ow, ow, ow. I found the lights. How do I activate them? I can turn them on from here. But you need to prime the three power cores first. The glowing FPC generator pipe. Didn't I fucking call it about him though? About him being scratch? Oh shit. How do I. Am I really. I have to. Oh fuck. How do I do this? I, I can't do it. Oh, I have to hold it. Yeah, I, I don't know what I'm really supposed to do. Down. Okay, what do I do with the clicker? Alright, just just kill me. Fine. Yeah, just kill me. It's whatever. It's fine. He was pretending to be wait. The plan is fucked. Estevez, come in. Scratch is here. How do I stop him? Bad news. The containment unit isn't prepped, but the light array should affect him. How do I activate the lights? I... Fuck. I need more time. Come on. Alright. Only one thing of batteries. Great. He's too fast. Yeah, I know he's too fast. I don't know what else to do. Do I just shoot him? I, I'll try shooting him. Oh, fuck. Go. 
got one. Yeah, I just shoot him. That was your containment unit? Scratch was here. He'll be back. What the fuck do we do now? So where's Alan? Sorry, just the music was interesting. Uh... All right, let's do the case board first. Wake attacked. So Scratch tried to take the clicker. Has Scratch been pretending to be awake this whole time? Where is the real Alan Wake? He's still in the dark place. Like I fucking called from the beginning. Well, not from the beginning, but like I did call it. That scratches out in the real world and Alan is still in the dark place. Yeah. Uh, Wake has been contacting me from the dark place. I assume something strange was happening with time, but what if it's simpler than that? Scratch wanted the same thing as Wake, the clicker. I mean, yeah, makes sense. Their goals were the same. Could, could mean Scratch and Wake are one and the same, or just a coincidence. All right, the cult stash, uh, Bright sure. Falls. And that's the last one, I guess. Okay. Now, story. Do we unlock a bunch of shit? Well, we unlock one of them. The FBC brought powerful light arrays to subdue the Taken. The dark presence is vulnerable against bright light. At least that makes sense. Yeah, the bright light weakens the dark presence, can provide protection. Looks like the FBC is also aware of the Dark Presence's weakness. Okay, and this stuff... Yeah, we got nothing. So, profiling. Wake. I assumed Wake escaped the Dark Place. Is it possible he's still there? The big apple in an ocean of darkness. Gone diving. Note from my editor. You're using the wrong tense. Trapped in a loop. My friends will meet him when I'm gone. Wake is still trapped in the dark place. Maybe he always was. I'm, yeah, this is the new music that we got. So, um, what do we just get? Wake and the clicker. 
Elwake is tra trapped in the dark place. Where is Wake? Yep. Wake is trapped in the dark place. He's been reaching out, communicating with me in the overlaps. So Wake is in the dark place. Been there the entire time? Definitely there now. So he is there. Did he ever get out? What the hell is going on here? So how to rescue Wake? That is the million dollar question. And none of these fuckers are still unlocked. Okay. Let's talk Scratches to some Wake's double. He tricked us. He almost got the clicker from me. The whole plan has gone out the window. How could we get this so wrong? Textbook boondoggle. You said it, Anderson. It's a shit show. So what's the plan? The FBC usually handles stuff like this, right? Any thoughts? Hold up. You brought a paranatural object in here without telling me and then almost handed it over to a hostile entity? I didn't know if I could trust you. That was a mistake. So was believing Scratch. But it's not too late. <sighs> I just need to understand more. <laughs> you got that right. Let's start acting like we're on the same side, yeah? About reality changing. The horror story is changing reality. It made it so my daughter died here, even though she's supposed to be back home in Virginia. Do you know if that's... Uh... AWEs are localized distortions of reality. The area outside town might not be affected. Sometimes they expand, sometimes they fizzle out. If we can make sure it's the latter, your kid might be fine. I can't lose my family to this thing. The whole thing is a nightmare. I can't let my family be torn apart. Having family isn't easy in this line of work. The late nights, travel, alternate realities threatening their existence. My ex-wife couldn't take it. Karen, you're better off without her. I know I am. Do you have the same ex-wife? Got any useful intel for me? So tell me what I'm missing. The FBC must know something. Good news, we have Bureau intel on all of this. Bad news, it's highly classified. Good news, consider yourself deputized into the Federal Bureau of Control. Here's a key to the cell where we keep the files. Happy reading. Okay. Um, thanks. Go team. You okay? Yeah, all right. Bro. 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 All right. Uh, you really forgot everything? You really don't remember Logan living in Virginia with me and David? Uh, I remember you and David having problems. You needed a break. You and Logan moved to Watery and and then, uh, then Logan, well, that awful thing happened. After you came back to work, I thought you'd be the perfect partner for this case, if you were willing to return to the area. Okay. That's enough. The story is changing your memories. The story is changing your memories. What you're remembering is fiction. Logan is alive. I'm not divorced. We never moved here. I remember the truth. No, no, no. Wake or Scratch, whoever that was, said the story could be used to attack us. We all need to question what's real. With that said, how do we know the story isn't giving you false hope? I can't convince them. I just need to change the story. So, if I may, here's what's bothering me. Um, the game may very well throw in the wrench 
like the, the sorry the plot twist that saga is wrong logan is actually dead and alan uh when writing the story made it so that saga misremembered that logan's alive i know we heard her on the phone earlier in the game but here's my issue the first time we met rose she said that logan died and we were like no you're wrong So it could very well be at that point, the story was already being changed. Scratch was already rewriting the story and Saga's kid was already dead. Totally fine. But if that's the case, why would Scratch not have it so that Rose doesn't know anything about Alan? Like I know Alan was reaching out to Rose uh, through her dreams and to give a note to us. But he wrote that. If Scratch is rewriting everything, why wouldn't he change that? So that Saga wouldn't have any help. Unless Scratch was like, I'll let this happen so that it, you know, Saga is able to come to me. I, I don't know. But that's that's kind of like what's bothering me at the moment. Like something here doesn't make sense. Um and right now, I can't figure out what's more likely. That Saga's wrong or everyone else is wrong. Because here's the other thing, actually. Here is the other thing. Let me, let me point it out. Because this is, this is key. Right here. This right here. Our family is not bound by Wake's story. The Andersons can see through the horror story. This would ex explain why my memories haven't changed like everyone else's. Sounds great. But Tor and Odin, when we first saw them, they said, we used to live here with Logan. This is like, this is a very subtle hint that things are not what they seem. Either Saga is not part of the Andersons, or I really believe she's still in the dark place, like I said before. She is still in the dark place. I don't know. There's something really weird going on here. Anyways, let, let's get back to it. I can't believe he fooled us. Scratch pretended to be Wake to trick us. He almost won me over. I should have trusted my gut. I had a bad feeling about him when we found him at the lake. When that insane monster cloud came at me in the woods, I saw a face inside it. Wake's. I think he was always a monster. Always Scratch. Uh, this is the kind of case my ex hated. The ones that might kill me. <sighs> That's funny. The cases that might kill me were my ex's favorite. What? What? All right. Research proposal. Re Alan Wake and Cult Connections. Summary. In 2010, writer and suspected para-utilitarian Alan Wake was reported to have disappeared into Cauldron Lake, a known threshold site. Three years later, a small group responsible for multiple killings was arrested in New York City by federal investigators. The murders were recreations of death found in the writing of Alan Wake. Interrogations and with the murders revealed they saw Alan... Sorry. Interrogations with the murderers revealed they saw Wake as a sort of prophet, describing them as themselves as his cult, the cult of the word, I'm guessing. 
and considered his novels to be sacred texts. As Wake was missing at the time, it's unlikely he had any personal involvement with this cult. At least there is no evidence supporting the idea. Soon after the New York cult was detained, an organization known as the Cult of the Tree began operating around Cauldron Lake, the same area Wake disappeared. This is now the second organization branding themselves as a cult with a direct physical connection to Alan Wake, operating in the location he was last seen in. I propose that this is not a coincidence and would like permission to search for a link between the Wake and the Cult of the Tree. Okay. Whoops. Emergency Incident Report. The Lake House. Research facility WA03 at Cauldron Lake, Washington, has been compromised. Cause unknown. The incident was visually confirmed by Agent Estevez when she visited the facility to make contact with Dr. Marmont and Dr. Marmont, heads of operations at the Lake House. The facility itself is reported to be in, in a damaged state with no living staff found during a brief search. A longer search was not possible due to an active AWE in the area requiring all available resources. Investigation and containment were not possible with current personnel. Emergency dispatch of response and rescue staff is requested. The investigations department has no knowledge of the Lake House's recent research or projects due to worsening communication and cooperation since HQ went dark. As a result, this report cannot determine the incident's cause without further investigation. Hmm. The battle to regain your mind, El Temp. Revolution for the brain. Experience of time and other neuroscience breakthroughs. PRS. That's interesting. UFO Myth and Reality, Part 3, Tricksters and Falsets, Westmore. UFO Myth and Reality, Part 2, Communion and Testimonies, author Batston. So there's three books, all with different uh authors but they're like a trilogy sightings under the lens quincy quincy batson westmore press all temp okay so yeah i figure this was some kind of uh code for something so a1 b2 c3 i9 j0 k1 l2 okay So staff kitchen policy reminders. Do not microwave whole fish. I shouldn't have to say this. Important information. Mulligan owes me 20 bucks and refuses to pay it back. I suggest we dock his pay for that amount, plus interest, and add it directly into my paycheck. Deputy Thornton. Here's another question. Did these guys not be, uh, go around looking for fucking Thornton and Mulligan and Breaker? I mean, I guess... Every cop in town is fucking dead now. Thornton doesn't remember I already paid him back by buying him lunch three months ago. Sorry, I don't know where I got three. Months ago. Months ago. So don't listen to him. And definitely do not touch my pay or I swear to God I'll sue. Deputy Mulligan. Front desk uh, computer and admin email are not to be used for personal quarrels or other unofficial business. And remember to wash your coffee mugs. Admin. Hey y'all, I missed the sink on Deerfest safety prep last time. Any updates? What's the latest on crowd control? Whoever put bayonets into the suggestion box was clearly kidding, right? Right? Bob. I understand there's a need to keep the arrested folks under lock and key, but who the heck is the paranoid madman who decided we needed every other door in our facility to be geared with the latest high height tech Top security nonsense. The stuff's not safe. One power outage and these locks aren't budging. I warned you about this half a dozen times now. Don't blame me when you're locked in with no way out. Officer Koopa.
Okay, so obviously the codes are for this. But what 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 what's the code? Like what am I doing? Like how do I know what what code to use? There's something about guns? Maybe PRS? LMNOP. So two, three, four, five. So it'll be five. PQRS. So seven and eight. LMNOP QRS. Yeah. So PRS would be five, seven, eight. Unless it means E isn't five. A, B, C, D, E. Maybe it's just the initials. So two, three, f three, four, five. Oh, it's six. Idiot search. So six, eight, and nine. No. Or maybe one, two, three. So Q, B, W. Maybe that's it? So Q would be seven. B would be two. Uh, uh, R... Uh, R S T U V W. There we go. I, I should have seen that. That was pretty obvious. Of course, my inventory is full. Why wouldn't it be full? And of course, I can't. I can't. I can't heal. Is there a shoebox around? Do I really have to go downstairs for the shoebox? Sorry about Yako. I'm sorry about your brother Elmo. Yako was all heart. He always went along with my ideas, no matter how stupid they were. Always happy to help. I got carried away. I never think things through. It's my fault. Time to come clean about the cult. I realize it's a bad time. But I need you to tell me everything about the cult of the tree. The cult is my craziest idea that ever worked. <laughs> Look, what kind of a cult calls themselves a cult? Exactly. We protect watery and bright falls. We're the good guys. A secret neighborhood watch. Well, that was the idea anyways. Look. We've always known about the horror inside the lake. When any Taken come out, we kill them. You don't turn people into Taken. You kill the ones who already have. That's what I said earlier, too. I fucking called that one, too. So how long has the cult been operating? How long has the cult been around for? Certain folks around here have always known about Cauldron Lake. Before us, it was the Torchbearers. When I inherited the mission, I wanted to call it a cult. <laughs> it was genius. Just the name did half the work. Made people too scared to go into the woods at night. 
Business 101, fear is a great motivator. Why go after Alan Wake? I mean, really? It's obvious at this point. You were trying to kill Alan Wake. Why? Nothing good has ever come out of Cauldron Lake. The nightmare that hit Bright Falls in 2010 was all because of his writing. And ever since then, pages of his stories are floating up from the lake, and monsters keep popping out. It's all him, Wake. And if we don't stop him, no one will. Wake's evil doppelganger scratches the threat we're facing. Not Wake. And I will stop him. I've never heard of anyone called Scratch. And this really sucks. I'm sure Sheriff Breaker wouldn't mind me borrowing this. Oh, looks like I got all the weapons. Oh, it only takes up three slots. Oh, wait, doesn't Allen's take up four? And it's the same shotgun, isn't it? I don't know, whatever. Um, okay. So I'm guessing this is a uh, good stability and capable of high sustained damage. So this is the same thing as this one, I guess, just longer range. Okay, let's figure out this case board real quick. Casey, David and I took a break and moved to Watery with Logan. I know what is real and what isn't. A megalomaniac writer can't make me doubt that. I have more family than I even knew. And I need to protect them all. If you say so. So false. Uh, so which parts are false? Which, if any, are real? False. Left David, moved to Watery with Logan. Left after Logan, did not drown. True. Mom from Watery. Tora Noden related to me. The mind place is family power, not technique. And the story says I left David and job for a, a trailer. This is not me. This is not my life. We can ruin my relationship with David in this story. What the fuck? So case closed. Investigating the story's lies led me to a family I didn't know I had. Or was finding them part of the story too. Maybe it doesn't matter. Wake's story created surreal and disturbing alternate life for me, but also revealed something. I do have roots in this town. So, story, still not open. Call to the tree. So, Ilmo, Scratch. Oh, sorry, he's never heard of Scratch. No. Maybe this one? No. Okay. So Cult wasn't working for, with, or with Wake or Scratch, operating on their own. Which is what I said before, yeah. Doesn't seem like the Cult has any connection to Scratch. Ilmo. The Cult found Wake's pages inside Taken and believed he was the cause. He was the the cause. So Cult thinks Wake is responsible for Taken. Believe killing him will stop this. Can't exactly fault their logic here. Yeah, true. The Cult of the Tree targeted people already corrupted by the Dark Presence. Their goal was to protect the community. <clears throat> uh, where do you go? Oh. 
Cult of the Tree kills taken to protect Bright Falls. Deduction available. Uh, Bright, wa Bright Falls and Watery. So in this case is close to. The cult to. of the tree is just the Cascella brothers' slightly misguided solution to the Taken problem. So the cult of the tree was being run by the Cascella brothers. They served as a sort of neighborhood watch against the Taken, not the bad guys here. So ritual was meant to destroy Taken, not create them. purpose of cult ritual was to kill Taken. So Nightingale was taken from the start. The cult couldn't finish the job because they were interrupted. An FBC file linking cult to wake activity. Uh, it's possible wake is connected to the cult. But if scratch is identical to wake, then this could refer to either of them. So the cult wasn't working for with wake yeah, yeah, we already know that. Okay. Uh, Waken the clicker. The thing that attacked Casey had Wake's face. There was never any Wake. It was scratched the entire time. <clears throat> Casey thinks Wake is scratch. And always has been. Certainly possible. And none of these opened up. Okay, and then we have a profiling for the Koskelas and for Scratch. Let's do Koskela first. Ilmo said the cult kills Taken. Is he telling the truth? Surplus deer masks by in bulk. We've got a floater, a Taken on the shore. Call the gang Yakko. We are going hunting. Cult of the tree. Keeping the town safe since 2013. Ilmo is telling the truth about the cult. They really were fighting the Taken. We're on the same side. Nightingale came back. If the cult is killing Taken, then why did Nightingale turn into one? Private party. Invitation only. Wrong time. Wrong place. Time to go, Yako. A job half done isn't done at all. Nightingale became a Taken because the Bookers interrupted their ritual. Oh, I assumed he was a Taken when he came out of the lake. So did he just escape? That's interesting. So what Scratch wants? Scratch was pretending to be awake. Manipulating me. What does he want from me? No, I'm in control here. It's my mind place. He's powerful. Too powerful. Just his presence here makes me feel sick. Like a wave of terror through my head. I feel his single-minded drive to get the clicker. <laughs> yeah, I probably won't be doing that again for a while. Uh, so called to the tree. We got one more thing here. Nightingale was already taken. Cult ritual would have stopped him, but he was but was interrupted. So cult ritual failed to destroy Nightingale because the Bookers interrupted it. Yeah, that's why he was the only taken among the cult victims. Ugh, this fucking Okay. That was a lot. Uh, yeah, we'll do this one. Okay, and I'm going to call it here because we're running very long again. Um, again, I'm, I'm, I'm hooked on the story. It's, it's hard to cut when, when you're having so much fun, when you're figuring shit out. Um, but yeah, a, a lot of my, uh, earlier predictions, my, my speculations, I want to say not predictions, but my earlier speculations look like they're coming true. Uh, and again, I swear I knew nothing about the story. Uh, I guess I just kind of recognize the tropes when I see it. Um, or I'm just, you know, super smart. Um, no, I'm not. I, I just like detective shit. I like figuring stuff out. I like deducing shit. I like finding the little hidden clues 
here and there and trying to figure shit out. Um, which is probably to my downfall because I tend to think too much in my head. But anyways, doesn't matter. Hope you guys are enjoying the playthrough so far. Hope you guys are enjoying my ramblings. Uh, it, it's it's funny how much I've called shit so far. But I I like it when I'm wrong too. Because, you know, it's I like surprises like that. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And I will see you in the next one. Take care.